P.S. Berio, I don't know what is your advice in the school situation in Nairobi. I don't know whether you have done an analysis to make a decision whether we keep the reopening day or we extend by a day or two or three or whatever. I don't know whether you have thought it through. What is the position? Give, uh, give a microphone so that we know what is the situation for the governor's comfort so that we are able to plan. Sir, in Nairobi County, we have 64 schools which are uh, substantially affected, mainly in classrooms and the wash facilities. So for Nairobi, we had guided this morning that uh, for some of these, we can deal with them as local issues so that we don't need to ask all schools not to open, but we can deal with them on isolated cases because in Nairobi we have 210 public schools and almost 800 private schools. So far we have identified 64 which have totally been affected. Thank you, sir. So what will happen? You will extend or you depending? The 64, we might delay their opening. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I think that is clear, Governor. What will happen is that uh, make recommendations to the PS uh, basic education, case by case, it will be analyzed on its own merit, where there is need to extend the opening day, Waziri education, we can extend. But otherwise, for the purposes of the country, the schools will reopen as scheduled, as planned. But where there are cases where the people on the ground, the county governments plus the national government administration and the directors of education in those respective counties make a recommendation to their peers, uh, basic education, we can always extend for a few days as things settle down. 